I know that a lot of you teenage girls and insomniacs who watch TikTok to fall back asleep for the third time will disagree with this. Don't get me wrong, I too use the app to get some pleasure out of it, but only about 10% of what's on there can be considered good content, while the other 90% is girls dancing, people doing random live videos, cringy skit videos, drawn out prank videos, and inappropriately dressed girls who want attention and more dancing to the most popular song, as a lot of TikTok is. So I'm on it very little, and when I am, I'm looking through the videos made by people I already follow. Like a British explorer in the Congo, I'll brave the TikTok wilderness that is the home page before running back to my camp as fast as I can, or in the time it takes to press a button. Unlike some, I just can't take it for very long. Now maybe you like watching a hundred different people dance to an overplayed song, and like watching random videos using the same soundtrack. That's fine, just like people who are addicted to eating soap are completely normal people with no issues at all, or people who make themselves into ramen soup, totally normal behavior. Just like your TikTok addiction. Now back to why TikTok users are garbage. I mean, why TikTok, not people, of course, are garbage. I really should triple read my scripts. Unlike YouTube, TikTok gives everyone who is persistent instant fame. Now you might be wondering how that's a bad thing. Well, at the risk of sounding elitist, not everyone deserves fame. TikTok and its garbage is what you get when you provide a 100% reliable, repeatable way for people to get popular and eventually rich. Play the latest TikTok hit music, do the latest dance, use the trending hashtags, and bam, instant fame. Much like birds can be conditioned to peck at certain things to get a treat, once one of those birds finds the pattern to get the treat, they all start copying each other. Humans are no different. YouTube, while having a pattern to a small extent, is more like a giant maze with webs and dangers along the way, while TikTok is a series of rooms you must go through with clear labeling on how to get to where you want to go. Those who are persistent, good at what they do, and patient can hope to be YouTubers, while those who are not can easily get famous on TikTok. Now you might be saying, if you're so good then, why don't you master TikTok? Well, for starters, I do have a TikTok account. No, I will not give it out. Find me yourself. A little bit of homework for you. Second, I would go brain dead having to get famous the TikTok way. Plus, my videos are way too long to be uploaded. TikTok basically offers two ways to success. The easy path and the less hard than YouTube path. Some TikTokers truly rise above the rest, and by some, I mean some to the least that some can be without being very little or none, while the rest, the 90 to 95 percent, make it with pet videos, dancing, pranks, bad acting skits, and pure and filtered cringe. I could go on. TikTok does what it was made to do, offer everyone fame, but that comes at a serious cost serious cringe and bad videos. You can test out what people think about TikTok very easily. Tell one group of people that you make TikToks and tell the other group that you make YouTube videos. I guarantee you that people will find the fact that you are a YouTuber more impressive. I occasionally tell people that I'm a YouTuber and almost always get asked for my channel name. There is just a prestige that comes with YouTube that TikTok will never have. Also, more people have YouTube on their phone than TikTok right now, at least to my understanding. So they may not even be able to follow you on TikTok, even if they wanted to. Everyone can be a TikToker, but not everyone can be a YouTuber, and that's not a bad thing. Disagree with me? This tells me that you're either a TikToker whose Gucci belt is cutting off blood flow to your brain, or that you're an addicted TikTok user that finds pleasure in watching cringy dancing videos. I'm so sorry that your mother dropped you as a baby. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this satirical-ish video. If you care to, move your cursor over to the big subscribe button and click it. I would be much appreciative. 
And please leave a comment if you have any future video ideas for me, stuff you think I got wrong, maybe you didn't think I went far enough, or just things you wish to say. Thank you for watching. NoobTube out.